Hello, today we're going to get started on making a European style building with Archimatics and Maya. Let's take a look at a few example buildings and decide how we can best approach the task in Archimatics. This is a building made by Daniel Mikolik on CG Trader. Take a note of the different architectural elements that repeat. You could break down this building into separate layers of repeating architectural elements. Here is another building. This one is by Fly123 on cgtrader.com. Again, we could divide this building into different layers of similar architectural elements. Each layer could then be further subdivided. For example, the corners of each layer follow one style, while the center of each face follows another one. This is another building, also by Fly123 at cgtrader.com. Again, we could start by dividing it into pieces of similar architectural elements. We can continue subdividing the pieces until we get parts that have similar elements repeating. We can create even very complex buildings in Archimatics by using this divide and conquer method. Let's head into Unity now and start working on our own unique European style building. My idea of the building breakdown would be something like this. Each color represents a layer of similarly styled elements. This could be a hotel with the main entrance represented by the big blue box on the inside of the L-shaped structure and a restaurant around the curved end over here. Perhaps there could be some tables and a terrace where people can eat out in the open up, up there. This is a simplified view of what the building will look like without the detailed elements, but we need it to organize our process of creating the building. So the goal of today's task is simply to block out the building that we are going to make. So let's start doing that by creating with a new scene. You should have Archimatics already loaded. If you don't know how to do that, please watch my playlist called Introduction to Archimatics. Throughout this playlist, I will always have the scene window on the left side, the graph editor on the right side, and my Archimatics library docked down next to my console and animation window. You can choose your own layout, but this layout works well for me, so I will continue using it. In this video, we just want to block out the building. In the next video, we will attach the blocks together with expressions. So let's start by creating a floor plan shape. It's an L-shaped building, so we will create two rectangles, one horizontal and one vertical. I will make my dimensions multiples of four because the architectural panels that I will import from Maya will be four meters wide. Of course, you can choose different dimensions for your building. Later on in this playlist, I will provide a link where you can download my architectural assets or you can create your own. Right now, let's arrange these rectangles into an L shape. Notice I have snapping turned on to help me put them together exactly. Now we are going to use the shape merger node to combine the rectangles into a floor plan. Click the little orange square to be filled so that you are adding the shapes together, not subtracting them. We need a couple more shapes. The one end of the building that's rounded is a little bit more narrow, so let's start with a rectangle shape. I will make this one only 12 meters wide as opposed to 16 like the rest of the building. Now let's center it at the end of the long section. 
Our floor plan's almost complete. All we are missing is the rounded part. So let's create a circle. And I'll give it a radius of 6 meters and 16 segments. and drag it into position and we are done our floor plan is now complete and we are ready to extrude it so drag the difference output to the extrude node and let's give it a height of 4 meters all European buildings have taller floors in America, the default is 10 feet, which is about 3 meters. For now, I'll just give it a solid color material. This is not necessary, but visually it keeps things organized. I want to give the different sections or layers of the building different colors to keep them organized visually. And while we are at it, let's rename it. This is the bottom floor, so I will call it that. The middle floors will have a different style, but the same floor plan. So we can simply extrude the same floor plan into another extrude node. Let's rename these middle floors. Drag the object up above the first floor with your snapping on. And let's give it a different material. The height of this level looks different than the ground floor. We want it to match the 4 meters so that each floor is the same height. Go under controls and modify the height to 4 meters. And move it down so it sits on top of the first floor. Now there are going to be several middle floors, so we are going to use the floor repeater node to create them. Take the output of the middle floors into the floor mesh of the floor repeater node. Expand the repeater section and adjust the base size to 4 meters. You can choose how many floors you have by adjusting the size parameter. Make sure that it's a multiple of the base size if you want even spacing. I will reduce mine so that we only have three middle floors. So now we have blocked out the ground floor and the middle floors all we are missing is the top floor with the roof and the main entrance area. The floor plan for the top floor and the roof is a little bit different than the main floors. It will only consist of the first two rectangles. So let's combine them with a new shape merger node. Again, make sure you're adding them by clicking the little orange square. And now let's extrude this new floor plan to create the top floor. Again, it will be 4 meters tall. And let's call it top floor.
drag it up into position. Snapping really helps here. And let's assign it a solid color material. Above this floor will be the roof, which uses the same floor plan. It's good to rename your nodes just to keep organized. Once you have a lot of them, it makes things much easier. I'll make the roof also 4 meters tall. Drag it into place and let's give it a unique material. Actually, I want the roof to be red, so I'll make it red and change the color of the floor below it. It really doesn't matter what color the floors are, it's just to indicate the different sections. These are not the final textures. I will adjust the taper on the roof to give it a slope. I think a value of 2 looks just about right. Alright, the main shape of the building is about finished. All I want to add now is the main entrance area. We are starting to get a lot of nodes and it's not a bad idea to group them. Grouper nodes will keep things organized and also provide us some functionality that we will need later on. This one has the top floor and the roof, so I will call it top section. These are the middle floors, so let's call the middle section. Later on you can add more nodes inside the groupers. If you're not familiar with groupers or any of the other concepts that we are using here, please see my introduction to Archimatics playlist. It explains everything very clearly. The bottom floor is only one node. But we will group it anyway, because it keeps things organized, and we will probably be adding more nodes to it later. We will call it the bottom section. Okay, so now we have our sections in different groupers. In the next video, we will be adding some special parameters to them. Double-click the thumbnail of the grouper to navigate in and out of it. Now I'm just going to create a box to represent the main entrance or front lobby area. Let's rename it main entrance. The height of this area, I'm going to make 6 meters, which is taller than the average floor, because this is the front lobby and it's going to be a somewhat different structure than the rest of the hotel. I'm going to make it 20 meters by 18 and see how that looks. Maybe that's a little bit too large. Let's try 16 by 12 instead. And snap it into position. Okay, that looks about right. And I'll give it a solid color just to be consistent with the rest of the layers.
Alright then, the blocking phase for the building is complete. Of course you can make a completely different shape for your building. I would recommend that if you want to use my architectural panels later on, you make your floor height also 4 meters, and the dimensions of the sides should be multiples of 4 meters. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to follow this project as we create a European style building using Archimatics in Unity and Maya.